make cream puffs right now. The recipe that I'm using was gifted upon us by Pierre Hermé, who is a legendary Parisian baker. So I feel slightly intimidated, but if you learn how to make this dough, you can make cream puffs, but you can also make eclairs. You can also make gougères, which are savory. That was milk, sugar, and kosher salt, and a stick of butter. It gets also half a cup of water, right? Yeah. I know that it gets this extra half cup of water because the last time I made this recipe, I completely forgot to put the water in it and, uh, you know, found out the hard way. So, small saucepan, high heat, everything needs to melt, so I'll give it a stir every now and again, and this mixture has to come to a boil. But at the same time, you don't want to let it reduce. It's a hurry up and wait situation. But then there's going to be a lot of, like, working quickly. You know when you read a recipe and it's like, working quickly, comma. You're like, yeah. All right, we're boiling. So flour all at once, turn heat down. I'm looking here to combine everything really well and quickly. So right away, it kind of all balls up. So you cook this over medium heat until you start to see like a dry film. And I'll show you. The film is a sign that it's adequately dried out. So before I add any of the eggs, I want to just beat the dough a little bit to cool it down. So I'm just going to run this for about 30 seconds. The key thing when you're adding the eggs is that after each addition, you have to make sure that they're completely incorporated before you add the next one. I'm going to go with egg number one. These are large eggs. Like everything gets really shiny and then 10 seconds later, it dries out again. It looks like batter again. So after the second egg, I'm going to give everybody a little look-see. This is egg number three. Egg number four. It's starting to look really shiny and smooth. It's just pretty thick right now. We're not there yet. Egg number five, so much is riding on you. And I'm gonna show you what you're looking for to know that you have arrived. Put the paddle into the mixture, and then when you pull it up, it should form a V. This is a plain tip. Fold the edge of the pastry bag over. That keeps your hands clean, which is important for me because I'm pretty messy. Just twist the bag there and tuck that inside, and that way the batter won't come pouring out the bottom. Stick of butter. Pretty cold butter. A little flour. This is a two inch cutter, and it makes the impression of a circle. Just stay in the lines. That's all I gotta do. This recipe is gonna make somewhere between 14 and 16. Two, four, six, eight. So you can get eight on a tray. Just using my thumb to make sure that the bottom is secure where I pushed it in. You don't wanna fill your bag more than like two thirds of the way full because that batter will squeeze out the back. So now twisting from here, pushing down. I'm just trying to apply even pressure as I go down. You do not want it to form a little peak like that. Not looking for the Hershey Kiss peak. So I'm trying to hold it directly above the sheet pan, and I'm trying not to make that tail, and I am failing. Mm, getting better with a perfectly clean finger. I'm just gonna get rid of the little peaky peaks. I'm not perfect. This whisk is <laughs> it's too big for this bowl. It's not stopping me. This is an egg wash. It's one egg beaten with a little bit of water. Sort of brushing and dabbing. They look great. Come on. 450 degree oven. You put them in and then you turn the oven off. Hey Siri, set timer for 10 minutes. My Siri is an Australian man, by the way. We have 10 seconds left on the 10 minute timer. And then I'm just gonna go over there, I'm gonna turn it up to 350 and then another 10 minutes. I do really want to look in there. I'm not going to. All right, in the meantime, while we're waiting, I'm gonna whip cream, large volume of heavy cream into a chilled bowl, a little bit of sugar. I like to whip cream by hand. This actually needs to be stiff peaks, but still glossy. I'm starting to regret my decision. You wanna whip the cream, Molly? All right. I got it started for you. Just passing off. This is what small children are for, if you live with any, or like handsome he-men, if you live with any of those, let them whip the cream. 
like we want it a little stiffer. Let's see. Yeah. All right, it's getting there. Yeah, whole thing. Back into the fridge. Those look awesome. But they're still wobbly and they're underbaked. And the recipe says about 10 more minutes from this point, so that would be a total cooking time of 30. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Keep them at 350 and keep them going. And now we're gonna check them out. So these are the things I'm looking for. Dark golden brown everywhere. They feel hollow, so that means that the moisture has evaporated, which means they're dry and airy. Now we're gonna let them dry out. Dry? No, we're gonna let them cool now. So stiff peaks is when you pull the cream out of the guy and then you turn it over and nobody flops over. If I whipped it anymore, it would get grainy. This time I'm using a star tip. If you don't have a star tip, don't stress out about it. Will it all fit? This is not what you're supposed to do. See how this is spilling out over the top? That is wrong. Gentle sawing motion. You don't have to be like fancy at this point because that part you're not gonna see. Then you want to kind of come up over the edge. And then, you know what, we need some powdered sugar. You guys wish you had a molly. I feel like it could go even higher. Let's like get, let's like go for it. Ha ha! Hmm. <laughs> Do you want to take a bite? Just make sure to exhale through your nose so that the powdered sugar goes flying everywhere. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Mmm. It's one of life's great pleasures. It's good, right? I overbeat the cream a little bit. But this is all about being being human. This is really this was really a video about how to be a human being who can make a cream puff. This is just the first tray, by the way. And if you think I'm gonna do the second tray, you are wrong, because I am not.